Welcome to Psych 3111. We are excited to have you in the class. This is just a brief overview of how the class is going to work. For more information, make sure to attend the first uh, Zoom conference, which will be Tuesday, the 7th of July at 11 o'clock. That is the first lecture Zoom conference. If you have lab, then uh, you, if you're in the Tuesday and Thursday lab, make sure that you're there at 8.30 a.m. on Tuesday, July 7th. If you're in the Wednesday and Friday lab, then make sure that you go to your first lab on Wednesday, um, July 8th at 8.30 a.m. as well. So let me just kind of show you what this looks like. This is the, the Canvas page that you've already gotten to. And this right here, after the video, is the actual syllabus. When you click on this, this is the syllabus for the course. When we open the syllabus, it gives the information that you need for the basic um, basics of the class. So, my name is Dr. Ryan Curtis, and that's my email. You've already seen emails from me. There are two lab sections that we just mentioned. The Tuesday-Thursday lab section is section 201. And section 201 is on Tuesday 30 from 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. That is led by our TA, uh, Andrew. And then Lena is the TA for section 202, which is Wednesday and Friday from 8.30 to 11. You do have lab this week. So on Tuesday and Thursday or Wednesday and Friday, make sure that you attend your lab. The way you attend your lab is by clicking on the Zoom conference that is here or that was sent to you, they are the same address. You do, if you're in Andrew's lab, you only have to do Andrew's. If you're in Lena's, you only have to do Lena's. The course materials are mainly on Canvas, which you've already found. Any Zoom conference with me is this Zoom, uh, Zoom address right here. And I will send this out again uh, as an announcement. The way the class works is, instead of actually going to lecture and me talking and teaching the stuff in Zoom, we are going to have interactive videos. The interactive videos take the place of a normal lecture. Anything that we do over Zoom, uh, at least for the lecture portion, is not required. That is, from 11 a.m. to 12.35 p.m., you do not have to be on the Zoom conference in person. You do have to do the, um, you do have to do the interactive videos that we'll talk about later. That's different for the labs, however. For your labs, you need to be there in person on the Zoom at the correct times, either Tuesday and Thursday or Wednesday and Friday. The only time that you have to be in person on, uh, online for the lecture portion is for the exams, which you can see in the, um, in the calendar. For the class, you need a textbook. This is the textbook. Oh, it's like it's gonna show a little bit weird. But this is the textbook by Beth Morling, that's the information that you see on there. Make sure that you get the textbook, you are going to need it for some of the information. You are going to need to use R. You can use, in fact, we prefer you use R Studio Cloud, which is a cloud version of R, so you don't have to download things and so that we're all on the same version. We don't have to mess with Macs versus PCs, etc. However, if you really want to, you can download it from here. Just to remind you, the way that this is going to work is the interactive videos. The interactive videos are where I give you most of the information. I expect that you've done the interactive video on the day that we start talking about it over Zoom if you want to attend that. The lecture class time is up to you. In that lecture class time, we're going to do several things. For example, we're going to go through the work, uh, the homework, and we'll do it together. Uh, we're going to go through review questions and answer general review items that you might have. That is your time. And then I'll use the, the end of it as, a, uh, as an office hours time. The lab sections, the lab sections you must attend both times each week from 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. And you do that over Zoom and you will be working with either Lena or Andrew to, uh, to complete two large projects. The two large projects are roughly five labs for the first project and five for the second project uh, where you will be creating, um, where you'll be writing up reports on research that you will either have done or propose to do. So that means that the attendance is only required in person on the labs 
except for the exams. On the exams, you must be there during the lecture time, which is 11 a.m. to 12.35 p.m. on the exam dates, and there's three of those. If you miss an assignment for whatever reason, you have to give me uh, documentation of that excused absence. The only time when that is not the case is the interactive videos, because you might want to go back and look at those. Uh, you, you're never penalized for doing those late. So the interactive videos you can do uh, anytime and you'll never have a late, um, a late penalty. However, everything else must be done on time. So the way that you should look at this, I'll let you look at the different grading schemes, but the way you should look at it on Canvas is like this. These due dates for the different things are, you'll see the video quiz for part one is due on Tuesday, July 7th at 11 a.m. Now that never goes away, so you can, you can take it really any time and you're no, there's no penalty for being late because it is a video quiz. That's the interactive video. Those video quizzes are the interactive videos. However, the lab things you must do in person as well as any of the homeworks. So the only things that can be late are the video quizzes, anything that says video quiz. There are two video quizzes per chapter in the book. And so you know that you're up to date when you've done two video quizzes per chapter. Those are available roughly one week ahead of time. You will also see that starting, uh, starting next week, let me find the right one, this is when chapter one quiz. A quiz is a homework. We will be doing these on the Zoom calls in the lecture time with me. If you wanna do them with me or you can do them by yourself, it doesn't matter, but they are due by 1 p.m. on the day that they are due. The reason why these are uh, not due until Monday is because I wanna give you time to get the book in case you need it. You'll be able to do those, uh, those quizzes, which are homeworks about the reading um, based off of the reading. You don't have to be in the Zoom conference. They're about five multiple choice questions a piece. They're relatively simple to do. If you're looking at the information about the labs, I suggest you go here to the modules portion. When you click on modules, you will see all the information for the labs. So the modules only refer to the labs. This first module is just general information. Here's the information for the first, uh, the first assignment, the first project we're gonna do. And here's the information for the second project that we're gonna do. Then after that, the information for each of the labs is right there in front of you. So each of these labs then is available to you and you can download the things and you'll be able to reference the different portions as well as all the different assignments. So anything that you're gonna do in lab, you should look under the modules section and it'll show you what is important for that particular lab. There's a total of 10 labs and each has a separate module as you see here. Okay, these are the basics that I wanted to tell you about the class. I hope to uh, see a lot of you over Zoom on the first day of class, which remember is Tuesday, July 7th. If you have lab on that day with Andrew, you're in section 201, then make sure you go at 8.30 a.m. on Tuesday, July 7th to his Zoom link and to go to your lab. Otherwise, everyone is welcome to talk to me over Zoom at 11 a.m. on Tuesday, July 7th with my, uh, with the link that you saw before and you'll see an announcement about it again. Welcome to the class, it's great to have you.